since 2000, there's been increasing focus on what is water security and how can it be measured so it can be managed. In 2000, the UN Ministerial Declaration on Water Security as a 21st Century Challenge identified seven elements of water security, from basic needs to managing risks associated with water insecurity. You see examples of water security being adopted into legislation. Uh, my work has been focusing on water security in transboundary rivers of western North America and Australia, two semi-arid regions which could be considered on the leading edge of water security challenges. And in Australia in 2007, amidst what was described as the Millennium Drought, the national government adopted the National Plan for Water Security. And that's one of a, a handful of examples where water security has been operationalized into legislation in that context within Australia. The goal was in the Murray-Darling Basin River of Southeast Australia to optimize water across its economic, social, and environmental uses and set in place a number of measures to transition the region to a sustainable water allocation system. What this speaks to, however, is that water security really depends on the context and takes different forms, different scales, and in different regions. So from the local scale and the settlement uh, the and the farms and the cities, um, water security may look quite different than water security in an international river shared by uh, two countries with a history of tense relationships. In Canada, among OECD countries, um, per capita water use is the second highest. And there are steps that could be taken to better understand where the water is being used, where it's being conserved, and then through that, conserve the energy, conserve the resources associated with treating water that gets delivered to the household.